What's up guys, Easy Philosophy, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at the elements of Euclid. This is part 5, enjoy. Alright, so here we have postulates. Postulate 1. Let it be granted that a straight line may be drawn from any one point to any other point. First, let's get some random points on the screen. Afterwards, we can see that we can draw a line from any one point to any other point. Postulate 2. Let it be granted that a finite straight line may be produced to any length in a straight line. So right here, we have an infinite line. This does not have a set value. Right here, we have a line segment. This line segment has an extremely high value, extremely high number. Even if the number is extremely large, it still doesn't matter. It still can be produced to a length in a straight line. Postulate 3. Let it be granted that a circle may be described with any center at any distance from that center. Right here we have the red, green, and blue centers. A line can be drawn from the red center to the edge of the circle and can be drawn all the way around to form a circle. This line from the center to the edge is called the radius. Now moving on to axioms. First we have axiom 1. Magnitudes which are equal to the same are equal to each other. This is basically saying if x equals y and z equals y, then z equals x. Axiom 2. If equals be added to equals, the sums will be equal. Basically, 5 plus 10 equals 15. 5 plus 10 equals 15. 15 equals 15. That means 10 equals 10. Same with x plus y equals p and x plus z equals p. If p equals p, that would mean y would equal z. Axiom 3. If equals be taken away from equals, the remainders will be equal. Now, instead of addition, we have subtraction. 5 minus 10 equals negative 5. 5 minus 10 equals negative 5, and negative 5 equals negative 5. So, negative 10 equals negative 10. If x minus y equals p, and x minus z equals p, if p equals p, then y equals z. Axiom 4. If equals be added to unequals, the sums will be unequal. Now, 5 plus 10 equals 15, and 5 plus 7 equals 12. 15 does not equal 12, so 10 does not equal 7. x plus y equals p, x plus z equals b. Now, if p does not equal b, then y does not equal z. Axiom 5. If equals be taken away from unequals, the remainders will be unequal. 5 minus 10 equals negative 5. 5 minus 7 equals negative 2. Now, 5 does not equal negative 2. So, 10 will not equal negative negative 7. x minus y equals p. x minus z equals b. Now if p does not equal b, then y will not equal z. Axiom 6. The doubles of the same or equal magnitudes are equal. Now if x equals y and z equals y, then 2z equals 2y, and 2x equals 2y. Axiom 7. The halves 
of the same or equal magnitudes are equal. If x equals y and z equals y, then z divided by 2 equals y divided by 2 and x divided by 2 equals y divided by 2. Axiom 8. Magnitudes which coincide with one another or exactly fill the same space are equal. Now here we have two squares, one blue, one purple. The blue square has an area of 4. The purple square also has an area of 4. This would mean that the blue square is equal or congruent to the purple square. Axiom 9. The whole is greater than its part. Here we have a gray triangle. Now this gray triangle is made up of a purple triangle, a green rectangle, and an orange triangle. Now this gray triangle is greater than the purple triangle. It's also greater than the green rectangle and the orange triangle. The gray triangle is the whole. Now the purple triangle, green rectangle, and orange triangle are its parts. So this means that the gray triangle is greater than all of its parts. Axiom 10. Two straight lines cannot include a space. Right here, we have three pairs of two straight lines. Now these pairs all do not include a space. But let's see what happens when we add a third line. Now this third line created a space, a triangle. Now if we add a fourth line, we get another space. So what this axiom is saying is that two straight lines cannot include a space. It will never happen. But by adding a third line, there is a possibility that the three lines may include a space. Axiom 11. All right angles are equal. Now, a right angle equals 90 degrees. And 90 degrees equals 90 degrees. So that would mean that a right angle equals a right angle. Axiom 12. If two straight lines, red and blue, meet a third straight line, black, so as to make the two interior angles, yellow and red, on the same side less than two right angles, these two straight lines will meet if they be produced on that side on which the angles are less than two right angles. So what this axiom is basically saying is that if the red and yellow angles are less than 90 degrees, then the red and blue lines will ultimately touch at one point. Now if the yellow and red angles are 90 degrees, then the red and blue lines will never touch. Now if the yellow and red angles are greater than 90 degrees, then the red and blue lines will still never touch on the side the two angles are on.